Hello everybody, welcome to Modern Deism. I'm Brother John, and just look at that beautiful sunset. It's not as beautiful as in person, but that, that is the view. The view I see. Word of God, smacked right in front of me every time I walk out the door. <laughs> It's beautiful time, springtime, and God, the days are getting longer. It's not even eight o'clock. It's still light out here in good old PA. <laughs> but uh, you know, there it is. The sun is going down. The sun is dying, and it will rise again. And we have. That motif, that analogy, that metaphor throughout so many religions over the history of the world. We have the deities attributed to the sun, whether it be Horus, Mithra, and now Jesus. And that's all it is. It's an astrology. Go all the way back to Babylon <laughs> and how it's the symbolization, right? The sun going down, battling with the evil spirits, and it gets dark, and yet then the sun rises again. All personified, that's all it is. And the thing I was thinking about was you know, I can't be too angry with theists. Christians, I can't be too angry. Especially um, Western Christianity. Which is, you know, here, you know, 200 some years old. Uh, well, then if we go back to Europe and everything, we're talking 400, 500 years old. As far as, you know, civilized society would go, you know, we want to go with the Enlightenment period, even, whatever. Let's well, just. Um. You know, when, but the thing that amazes me, though, is that, and Christians, you know, when I was a Christian, anyone else would look back, say, in Roman times, and the gods they worshipped, Apollo, Zeus, and those worship of those deities went on for hundreds of years. Hundreds. So, but it amazes me though still, it should amaze you that with all our technology that we have now, yet, yet the myth, uh, the myth, the motif, the metaphor continues and still is deified now with Jesus Christ. And yet with all the evidence against any resurrection of an uh, uh, of an actual person named Jesus is so far removed and we don't have to get into the whole thing of the Bible and how that all came about and all the not having the originals and stuff but you know the thing is that the belief the belief that people have held on to it's in our age, in day and age of what we think is, you know, we're in, the, we're in modern technology. And all the information at our fingertips. And yet, these religions, the religions persist. Just, I don't know, I just found it interesting. But... If Rome and Greece is any indication, uh, we might have another hundred years before uh, the truth of Christianity would go the way go the way of the Romans. Uh, Christianity would go the way of the Greeks, or hundreds might be a hundred years before Christianity goes the way of the Egyptians, the Babylonians. But by then, will we have 
a different deity? Will there be another Jesus? Will something happen 2012 this year? Something from outer space? Who knows? And then generations later, our encounter with aliens, they become deified? I don't know. But for now, I will enjoy, oh man, you, you, I don't, this camera, from what I'm looking at is not, I hope it's capturing this, but it is just beautiful. So for now, I will enjoy the beauty of creation. The tapestry, the artwork, right there. And just feel good. Feel good to just be alive and to experience this moment. Just to know that it's good to be alive. And to see this, to be conscious of having this beautiful, awesome experience, just seeing this beauty.